Hi there, my name is Rodrigo. I'm co-founder and CTO of Reportate. And today we are going to give you a tour of our application and everything you can do with it. So I'm going to be recording my screen so we can uh, give you a really nice demo of, of everything that's possible to do in the application. This is the home screen so you can see all your projects. Uh, it's like your customers. So if you are an agency or something like that, you could just come here and add them as a project. So let's add a new project here. So I'm going to add Reportee itself to make sure that we can uh, add some integrations and so we can uh, really create a nice report that you can see everything that the two can do. So let's select a language here. Uh, it's uh, Brazilian Portuguese for default, but you can just select English here. Then you can uh, select the date format as you want to. So this is month, month, day, day, year, year. Uh, okay, the next step here is how you want your numbers uh, formatted and uh, it's gonna be this one so let's create and move forward so here is the the page you're gonna enter every time you need to add a new integration so you can see here that reporting has a lot of possible integrations you can have instagram business facebook facebook ads uh, twitter google ads and lots of uh, networks and sources to put together in a really nice report or dashboard so let's integrate Facebook first here, as it's suggested here. I'm going to go through the full flow with you. Okay, just putting my password here. Okay, so it's gonna go back to Reporte and here we can select uh, our account, I just selected Reporte here. It automatically noticed that we have an Instagram account. So I'm gonna uh, accept this Instagram account and integrate it. So we have Facebook and Instagram integrated. Let's do it for Facebook ads as well. Uh, and as we have already a Facebook ads account, we are gonna just select it here. We do not have to go through the full flow again and let's add a Google Ads account as well. So we can have a really nice report. So this uh, outflows here sometimes uh, appears in Portuguese, but that's because my computer is in Portuguese. And for you, you're gonna see everything in English or in Spanish, uh, the way that you are setting up your app to be. So I'm gonna select report A here and we can move forward. So I have set up a project called Reporte. I've uh, added my integrations here. So the next step is to create a report or a dashboard. Let's do a report first. Okay, we have two steps for creating a, a new report. The first step is to select a template. And what is a template? A template is a collection of metrics that showcase important things uh, from your sources. So we have here uh, our templates that we suggest that's come from the fold. So you can have a classic template, a, pad, pay for, a template for paid traffic, inbound, uh, e-commerce, or you can add your own templates. You can save templates and then use them again here. We're gonna just move forward with a classic template so you can see uh, most of the metrics that we can offer, okay? The second step of creating a new report is selecting the analysis period. So uh, you want your report to be last 30 days, last seven days, or you want to select a custom period. So we're gonna get a uh, report for January here. And then we have the opportunity to select how we are going to be comparing those metrics. Here we have the automatically way that just gets the previous period and it uh, actually gets the full month of December here. We have the option to do not compare with any period at all or just select it manually. Let's uh, move forward with the uh, previous period here. Uh, the next option we have is to select integrations. Uh, I'm gonna let all those selected so we can see everything from Facebook, Instagram and ads. And then we have the opportunity to choose details on our ads accounts. We can just generate a report for the full account. So we're gonna see everything that's possible inside that, that integration, or you can select some campaigns and then go uh, a deep dive inside some metrics. I'm gonna select campaigns in the Google Ads account here so you can see the difference. Okay, 
I'm going to select uh, those four campaigns here. And now I have uh, the Facebook ads account uh, that we're going to analyze the full account, the entire account. And here we have just four campaigns selected. It's going to be a analysis more focused on those four campaigns. Okay, just let's move forward, complete and generate this report. And this is the report page. We have here the analysis period, the comparison period. We can see if your customers saw this report. So if you come here and share, copy this link and send it to your customer, if he access it, it's gonna be counting the number of views here. We have this uh, nice little bar here in the left that you can use to navigate your report and to add more metrics to the, to the report. Okay, let's go here. Uh, we have this cover that you can just click here and uh, adjust to your needs, change how you want to show your logo, change your color, change the name, and change anything you want here. And we have our report. So this is the Instagram report. We have followers count, how many people saw your profile, how many clicks you've been getting in the profile page, how your impression and reach are going through this month, how your audience is separated by age and gender, how, how many clicks you got, how many followers you have in each city, and which is the best day or best time for new posts. We have here too uh, the best posts we, we've made in the last month, and the best reels, which stories performed better, and so on. We have metrics for Facebook as well. I'm not gonna go deep in every met metric here, so it's a lot of metrics. I just suggest that you uh, give it a shot and try yourself. Uh, we have a free trial that you can just uh, sign up in reporte.com and enter there. But I'm gonna show you uh, how Facebook ads and Google ads have uh, th those metrics that are more interesting here because we have the campaign stuff and the entire account stuff. So here, Facebook ads, we have metrics that showcase you which uh, which campaigns are working, which are not. So we have a table here for featured campaigns that you can just uh, filter the way you, you want here. You could just add new columns, you could highlight a line, you could filter values and transform this uh, nice ta table into something that just showcases you the best campaigns that have a nice CPC, that have a nice HOAS, etc. Uh, okay, feature ads, so you can see the best ads you have. Uh, here we have Google Ads that's blocking by campaign. So we have a campaign here, we have a campaign here, a campaign here. So I can just add any campaign here. So I can just click Add Campaign, select one of them. And I, now I have one more campaign here. But the nicest things about this, the, this structure is that if I just drop a metric outside the block of campaigns, I know that this account in uh, the analysis period that I've selected had 97 ads, but inside this campaign itself, I probably had a little bit less. That's just six ads for this campaign. So you can uh, see that you could just uh, have a really interesting way of analyzing the whole account or just a specific campaign uh, that you want to uh, deep dive. Of course, Reporte has a lot of sources. These four here, I'm just using them for uh, showcasing you how Reporte could work. But just let's go back to your, our project here so I can uh, showcase to you how other uh, modules of the app works. So we've saw reports. We could add dashboards here too. Let's create one just so you can see how it works. It's really similar to reports. You have a template so you could sell, uh, that you can select. You can select the integration, the analysis period, and then we have a dashboard here. And what's really the difference between the dashboard and the, the report is that the dashboard, you can change the analysis period quick, very quickly and uh, use it to understand how your marketing is working right now. So a report is like a picture. You can see a picture of your month, but in dashboards, you can see how your week is going. What should I change? What's working? What's not working? How can I uh, improve this campaign that I'm running right now? So this is a dashboard. I can just come here and let's say, ah, I just want to understand how the last two weeks working. Okay, I just clicking update and then I'm gonna uh, have the metrics that's just for this week. Okay, 
this dashboard too, you can just copy this link, send to your customer and your customer could change the analysis period as well. So uh, if you have uh, customers that really understand a little bit more of, of marketing, of metrics, you could just send it to them and they would be able to uh, understand what's happening as well. And that probably, probably would uh, make you uh, one meeting less in your calendar. Okay, so this is reports, this is dashboards. We have uh, indicator control timeline in automations to go. But let's start with automations. What's automation? If a report is a picture, you probably want to schedule those pictures. Uh, you want to save some metrics. You want to understand what happened without having to come here in reporting and clicking lots of buttons. So if you want to understand how's your week going, you could just select here uh, and say, oh, okay, I want a new picture, a new report every Monday in the morning. And I'm gonna call this automation morning, morning weekly report. And okay, let's just move forward. I'm gonna select the template, move forward, select the analysis period. So every week I want uh, a report from last week with all these uh, integrations. That's gonna be weekly report. That's the email I want to receive uh, and warning if the automation fails. And okay, we, we can receive the automation notification in three ways. Just uh, in-app notification inside Report A, I could receive an email, automat automatically email saying that it worked or not, or I could just send a email to a customer saying, okay, this is your report, it's already generated, uh, here's the link. Okay, I'm gonna just let it with uh, in-app report here, finish and create my automation. So that's my automation. Every Monday now, I'm gonna re receive a new report. That's a new way of saving my data and um, making sure that I do not need to enter report A to understand how my uh, my sources, my networks are going. I can understand if my ads are good, if my Instagram are good, without having to worry about entering entering every week. So we have timeline and indicator control as well. Timeline is a really nice module here because it helps you uh, make sure that you and your team and your uh, coworkers and your customer are really aligned. So you can use the timeline as Facebook's timeline uh, for profiles. You can see it, when you started something, what went well, what wasn't that good, what mistakes you've made. So you can see like, oh, this is my first meeting so you enter a customer you add here your first meeting select a an icon to just uh, categorize it visually okay first meeting so and then uh, campaigns campaigns started you can add those uh, things here in the timeline you have a timeline of what worked what was wrong what you should change and you could just uh, avoid meetings with this because you could say to your customer okay here's a link that we're gonna put everything that we do so you can always be uh, in touch with us using this link and understanding what's working uh, we used to say that marketing is a story it's not just the picture it's not just the report so the, the number that went up that it went up because of a because of a reason you did something if it went down it went down because of a reason you did something probably a mistake and then you can use it in with timeline to show what's uh, what happened why that went up why that went down and that would be really really uh, more useful for meetings and to make sure that your customers aligned with you so the last module I want to showcase here is indicator control. We had pictures, that's reports. We had a way to help you uh, in the day-to-day -day work, that's dashboards. We have automation, so you can uh, take pictures, uh, schedule it pictures. We have timeline that helps you align with your customers, align with coworkers. But we really needed something that's uh, in a proactive way helped you uh, increase uh, your results that helped you avoid mistakes and that's indicator control so when you come here uh, in hypothetic control you can add some goals you can add uh, you can receive alerts and you can just have control of the whole project so let's say uh, 
let's say you want to understand how much you're spending. So you're gonna say, okay, uh, if my spending in Facebook ads reach a certain limit, please uh, alert me that I'm spending too much, or please uh, please alert me that I'm spending too little, or if my conversion starts to increasing, let me know that's increasing, that's above the average. If my posts are below average, let me know so I can do something and uh, check with the team if, hap if something happened and what we have to do to increase our post, co post count. So, report control is really a nice way to help you understand what's happening. Just select a few KPIs and really have them under your control and making sure that if anything bad happens, you have an alert in your email, making sure that you can take action as soon as possible. I suggest that you try report control as well. And with, with those five modules, I'm sure that report can help you and your agents and, and your day-to-day -day job to be more productive when generating reports, to be more assertive with a dashboard so you can take better decisions. Uh, to be more productive with automations, to be more aligned with timeline, and actually have control of your projects with Report Control. This is the full demo. I actually wasn't possible to re really deep dive in niche integration, niche metric, which customization that we could that you can have in Report A, but we are here to help you. And so if you have any question, if you want to uh, go deep in what you can do with Report A, you just have to get in touch with our support here uh, in this chat box and we are here to help. Okay, so thank you very much and see you in the next video.